Hey everyone, version 0.4.9 of OpenRC2 has released and it's called Valise Watcher. And in this video, I'm going to show you some of the changes and fixes that were done in this release version, uh, which I think are the most exciting. The first change I want to show you is that the developers added several terrain types. So if we go to the object selection, we go to advanced, and we make sure the filter for openrc official is set. Then if we check here in the terrain surfaces, you can see here that there's now a new terrain type called wildflowers. And if we look in the terrain edges, we can now see brick brown and rock brown. Now I've already selected them, so let's just uh, see them in action. And here we can see the wildflowers. I'll just paint a bit of the terrain in it. So it's just like a lighter green uh, grass type with some of these uh, blue uh, specks in it. Now uh, these uh, terrain types have been uh, copied from the Rollercoast Tycoon 1 beta version. I think they're a nice uh, addition to the to the game. Let's disable the grid and I'm sure uh, you can find a spot to uh, to use this. Um, myself, um, yeah, I, I already tried it out for example under some of these uh, plants and when you use that it just makes it look a little bit more um, overgrown, like there's more foliage here. So uh, I think that's uh, definitely a useful land type. But I'm sure you can find other spots where you uh, can use this terrain type as well. Now um, there's also some uh, wall edge edges. So here we have the brown bricks. Now um, I can't really think of a situation where I would use this, but I'm sure you can find a spot where it looks nice. Now and then there's also the uh, the brown rock type and it uh, looks exactly like the ice land edge exactly uh, uh, recolored and i can definitely see myself using this in in uh, some spots of the park for example here we have this uh, some of these rocks i think it looks especially nice with these uh, this alien uh, terrain uh, terrain type but yeah this is definitely the change that's most uh, exciting for me now let's go over some of the other changes. Alright, um, some Rollercoast Tycoon 1 scenarios, including Forest Frontiers, have some pre-placed uh, buildings, like these uh, mine team scenery buildings here, that you are not uh, allowed to place. Um, even if you would enable all mine team scenery uh, in this scenario through the object selection, you're still not able to place them, and that's because these are restricted objects. Now, and previously you would only be able to place them uh, by going into sandbox mode and then you see the question mark uh, yeah, list here and then you can see these objects and now you are able to place them in your park until you disable sandbox mode again then you're no longer able to place them. Now um, a UI uh, element was added to allow you to control this. So for example if I um, select any of these objects here you can now see a restrict button and the restrict option has been set for these objects. So uh, I can now uh, disable this like so. And then we'll disable sandbox mode. And now we're in the scenery uh, menu. Now you can see we can now place these objects and they, have, they are no longer restricted. So how is this useful? Well, if you're in sandbox mode or you are creating a scenario for someone and you want to play some stuff in the scenario that you don't want the user to use in the scenario for some reason, then you can uh, simply uh, restrict those objects. You can restrict any object from this list if you wish to do so. Okay, uh, another change that has been made is that uh, guests can now spawn with more colors. So I just did a Thanos in this park and eliminated most of the guests. And so we should see uh, uh, the maximum number of guests spawning. So uh, quite recently, well, yeah, I say recently, but it's already uh, uh, been a while now. Time flies when you're playing this game. Um, more colors were added to the game, but the guests didn't spawn with these new colors yet. So um, yeah, now code has been added to actually allow the uh, guests to spawn with most of these colors. So uh, the trouser colors are still uh, a small set of these uh, colors. You probably won't see any uh, guests spawn with bright red trousers, but um, uh, most of these colors uh, have now been actually been added to the guest shirts. 
I don't think uh, we will actually see guests with the invisible color. All right, uh, another thing that has been changed is that you are now able to uh, build one element uh, partially underground. So that's for the hardline twister caster. Um, normally, you wouldn't be able to build this element uh, like this because, um, yeah, normally if you wanted to build an element underground, it had to be a whole, yeah, it had to be fully underground. But now, um, just for this element, you're uh, able to build it th partly through a through a tunnel like this. Now, um, maybe in the in the future, this will be added for more elements which have the proper drawing code. But for now, uh, it's only for this hardline uh, uh, role. I think this is a, a pretty fun change, and I'm curious to see for uh, which other elements this will be added in the future. Right for the next change, I'm going to visit Mega World Park, and the next change is that for most Roller Coaster Tycoon One vehicles, um, the original vehicles have been imported into the game. Now um, you uh, won't be able to place uh, a lot of these vehicles in your park, but they will be there when you import them uh, when you import a RST One scenario into your game. Now I've chosen Mega World Park here because um, uh, it already has a lot of pre-built uh, vehicles. And for example, here you can see these the mine train vehicles. Now, um, how can you recognize a Rollercoaster Tycoon Tech One vehicle? It's that um, I believe our two vehicles have uh, 32 sprites for a rotation, and Rollercoaster Tycoon One vehicles only have 16 sprites for a rotation. So uh, they look a little bit more uh, more janky. For example, they don't really look like they actually traverse these rails uh, pretty well. But yeah, um, I think this uh, does give you a nice uh, Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 feel when you open these scenarios in Rollercoaster Tycoon. Uh, or in, when you open these scenarios in OpenRST2. Now, um, how does this look in the object selection? So here we are in the object selection. Um, I will disable OpenRC2 official, and we just select Rollercoaster Tycoon One here. And let's see, do I have any other filters? No. Okay. So here we can see the bobsled coaster. Well, these are uh, the old vehicles. The sprites look pretty different, and here are the new vehicles. And when you select the old vehicles, you can see here this entry is included for backwards compatibility with old or damaged objects. It cannot be selected, only deselected. So yeah, these, you cannot select these in your scenario. You can only uh, deselect them if you have already selected them. And they will only appear if you open up a scenario that was made in Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 that has this, um, this uh, vehicle type. Yeah, um, you can see these old vehicles uh, in action here on this uh, bobsleigh coaster, for example. Or let's do quickly check another one. We can also see the stand-up vehicles. But yeah, um, uh, I believe all Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 vehicles have now been imported into the game. Okay, now here's another uh, little change to the game. Uh, some, ve some coaster types actually had a reverse vehicle type. For example, I believe it was there for the looping roller coaster. Well, not selected in this scenario. One that is selected here is the, for example, the reverse vehicle for the reverse free fall coaster. And you can see also here that this entry is only included for backwards compatibility with older damage objects. And the reason for that is that the reversed uh, trains in uh, OpenRC2 are no longer really necessary as a coaster type. As when you build a ride, you actually now have a check mark. Well, it's not here uh, currently, but uh, you should have a check mark to actually um, yeah, reverse a train if you want. So let's close the Tower of Terror, and as you can see, now we have reverse trains. So it's no longer necessary to actually have a reverse version of the vehicle as a separate object. Right, um, there's also several bugs that were fixed in this release version. Now, one of them is uh, one, something that annoyed me a little bit. For example, um, if I press the spacebar, the game is now paused. Um, not really sure if spacebar is the standard hotkey, but yeah, um, any hotkey um, this uh, this applies to. So yeah, um, 
I can now pause the game by pressing the spacebar, but sometimes I hide the UI, especially when I'm recording videos, and then uh, pressing the spacebar would no longer pause the game. But that has now been fixed in this release, so now I can pause the game to my heart's content. Now, and there's also several other hotkeys that um, um, don't work when the UI is hidden. For example, when I see the UI like this, um, we can now, for example, bring up the land uh, tool by pressing F1. Um, that one still uh, doesn't work, I believe. Yeah, so if I press F1, no, nothing happens as of now. But um, something which it has been uh, um, fixed for is the footpaths. So I believe we bring this up by pressing F4, that's correct. And if I hide the UI, now press for Now the footpath um, menu comes up. So uh, I'm sure this will uh, fi be fixed for other uh, windows in the future as well. But uh, I saw now in the change log it has been at least been fixed for pause and for building footpaths, which is uh, really nice when you're uh, recording videos like me. Now, sometimes uh, the OpenRT2 developers also make changes to uh, scenarios to make them more playable or to uh, um, yeah, fix some mistakes in them. And most of the times, um, especially in some of these expansion scenarios, um, you can buy land, but often uh, a few pieces uh, would be uh, forgotten. So, for example, um, here you can see uh, we can now buy all the land. Uh, in this release, uh, there were a few uh, tiles where the land rights could not be bought. They were just uh, hidden in there. But uh, in this uh, release, that was fixed. So now you can once again buy all the pieces of land that you are supposed to be able to buy. Now, um, those were not the only things which have been changed or fixed. Uh, if you go to the r slash rst subreddit, um, you can find the pinned post there with the change log for this release. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can um, find the link to the OpenRC2 GitHub. And there all the features and improvements and fixes are once again listed with a useful link to either the issue that has been fixed or to the pull request in which that um, was fixed. So you can see more details about what was changed. And of course, here you can also uh, download the new release version if you want all right that's going to be it for this video uh, if you like this video please consider giving it a like it would really help out my channel and if you want to see more videos like these you can always subscribe all right hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you again in the next one see you later mm -hmm.